Welcome to Hot Stuff in My Car Works channel. This is video number 6 of the repair title How to Replace the Cylinder Heads on Dodge 4.7 liter engine. If you watch our last video, I show you that on the left cylinder head one of the valve seats came off and because of that I did not want to take these cylinder heads to the machine shop to have them repaired uh, due to the concern that uh, that could have happened to another cylinder or the other head in the near future and I did not want to take that chance. So what I did, I purchased this set of free manufactured cylinder heads from my local auto parts store and all I have to do is transfer my components from my old heads to the remanufacturer set and then turn them in as cores. So over here I have the head gasket set, the head bolts, the timing tensioner that broke off and some spark plugs. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to put these items on and start putting this engine back together. So stay tuned. So, so far by the way the cylinder head was wrapped it looks good. Ideally we shouldn't have any problems with these heads and this engine will run like brand new when I'm done. Alright, so if you look at the head, it comes with new valves, completely machined. It has all new lifters. But to install the head, we're going to go ahead and remove the rocker arms. And then go ahead and remove them, place them in order. And I don't need to show you again how, because I show you how to remove them with the special tool on the previous video when I was removing the other cylinder head. To avoid bending the valves, place some wooden blocks on the edges and then set your cylinder head on the blocks like that so the valves don't make contact with anything when you're transferring all your accessories and removing the rocker arms. And now more important than ever is to cover the intake ports with tape so you don't drop anything in there. Tighten the camshaft sprocket bolts to 90 foot pounds. Before installing the exhaust manifold on your new head, Clean the mounting surface with a wire wheel. Dodge Chrysler OEM plug is champion. We're using the best champion plug, the double platinum. And it's always a good idea to coat the threads with a very light coat of anti seize. It's very light. Prior to installing them on the head, this will keep the plugs from seizing on. It'll make it easier to remove them next time when it's time to replace them. So make sure you do that. And obviously make sure they're tight. Next step, remove the old head gaskets from the block. Clean the mounting surface using a wire wheel. That way the new head gasket has a smooth surface. Next, blow the impurities with compressed air. Use a clean towel and apply brake cleaner to it and wipe down the mounting surface. On both sides. Install the brand new head gasket and align it with the dowel pins. You already cleaned the surface. You already installed a new head gasket. Next step is to carefully lower your cylinder head in place and to keep and align it with the dowel pins. For extra precaution, put a couple of bolts. Uh, to keep it from falling 
In a couple minutes I'll show you how to torque the head bolts. Just use a couple of bolts to hold it in place. The dowel pins will help you to align it. But you just don't want to damage the head or the gasket. This type of engine requires the use of running head bolts. You cannot reuse the old ones because when you try to torque them, since they require the angle torque, they will break. Not to mention that they wouldn't be tight anyways because they're already stretched. So, running head bolts. One of the things that you want to do with the longer ones, you want to coat the threads with a little bit of engine oil before installing them. That way they go down smooth and then they actually torque to the correct specs. Uh, otherwise they will be dry and then you get the wrong reading. So just coat them with engine oil and install them finger tight first, don't tighten them up. Now the small ones, since they're brand new, they're already coated with thread sealing and thread locker. This will keep them from coming off because they're not going to require as much torque as the bigger ones. So there's no need to add anything extra, it's already included. So go ahead and install these bolts finger tight. The head bolt torque for this engine is done in several steps. And you're going to need a torque wrench and a torque angle gauge. Show you how to do it. Now it's time to torque the head bolts. The first step is to tighten the, the large bolts to 15 pounds. You start from the center, you know, from the center bolt uh, to avoid warping the head or, the, or damaging the head gasket, you know, buckling the head gasket. So this would be your first bolt right here that you're going to tighten up to 15 pounds. Then you're going to do the one underneath and then after that you can move to this one and start doing a crisscross pattern. Do this one next, then that one, then this one, and so forth. Uh, as you tighten them up, uh, like I said, stand from the center, moving your way out. Do not tighten these yet. So first step is uh, 15 pounds. Once you're done tightening the large bolts to uh, 15 pounds, you repeat the same process again with the large ones, but you do 35 pounds this time, 35 foot pounds this time and you tighten the small bolts at 18 foot-pounds. You do this one first, two, three, and four down in there. After you're done tightening the large bolts to 35 foot-pounds and the small bolts to 18 foot-pounds, you're going to set your torque angle gauge you know, against the head. Uh, breaker body is the best bet because you know, the ratchet tends to move back and forth. Um, so set it on zero first and using the same sequence as uh, you did when you were trying to uh, torque them with the torque wrench you're gonna rotate the bolts to 90 degrees you know it'll be right there on your torque angle gauge this will be the final torque for the large ones and like I said make sure to use the sequence uh, that you used earlier when you were using the torque wrench and once you're done turning additional 90 degrees on each large bolt torque the small ones again, all four one, two, three, four to 22 foot-pounds and that will be the final torque for all the bolts go ahead and repeat the same steps for the driver's side cylinder head now the only difference with the left cylinder head because of the brake booster right here you're going to have to actually slide the rear bolt into the head and maybe hold it up with tape or anything similar to keep it from damaging the gasket as you lower the head because it can't be uh, level with the block it has to be up a little bit even if it's just a little bit but you won't be able to put that head bolt in 
once you lower this head. So make sure you do that and then you'll have a lot less headaches plus you won't have to slide this head back out after you know you already put it in. This is the end of part 6 of this video series. And then on the next video I'll show you how to continue putting this engine back together. In the meantime make sure you subscribe to our channel. That way you'll know when the next video comes up. Also don't forget to visit our online store. We have a great selection of accessories for cars, trucks and SUVs like this Durango. Make sure you do that. See you next time.